Welcome back to Hour 3, the uh, one of the most important hours of the week. We deal with uh, basically preparedness, civil defense, martial law, including bank holidays, uh, earth changes, and space weather. And our panel of uh, experts includes a uh, broadcaster, special forces, uh, all the way back from Vietnam, a forensic investigator, John Moore, who has his own radio show. The, the uh, LibertyMan.com is his website. Ann Morrison, our scientist, deal with space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and uh, space uh, objects such as nearest objects, uh, solar uh, events, etc. Her website is homeland-defenseforyou.com. And coming up a little later, we'll have Alexander Bachman, our scientist, researcher, and uh, he covers a wide range of topics, sometimes uh, uh, pretty remarkable, and he has a lot of very solid information. Uh, John, uh, tell us the latest uh, updates okay. that you're following, and you have your own list of whistleblowers. What's what's happening and what's brewing? Well, i got two things for you today, Dr. Bell. you got me for 15 minutes, by the way. Uh, the first, uh, it starts out rather uh, plain vanilla. The United States Geological Survey is no longer inventorying topographical maps. So when you place your order, they print them on demand. A friend of mine was at the uh, Rawa office, Rawa, Missouri office, of the United States Geological Survey uh, recently. And when he ordered the maps, he, he got them, took delivery. He found that there was no buildings, no cemeteries, no range and township lines. They were all deleted from the map. Um, so that's kind of disturbing because that's very essential information, to say the least. The second thing, I'm developing a new source and expecting more information next week. This individual's involved in uh, Central America training uh, the People's Liberation Army and the People's Liberation Army Navy. Uh, apparently, these entities are preparing to be part of the United Nations uh, peacekeeping force that will be inside the United States in the not-too-distant future. follow up on that, apparently there's a number of American billionaires, billionaires with a B, uh, leaving the United States and uh, going to uh, Costa Rica as a safe haven. Right. In other words, what you're saying is there's collaboration between our government, which is a communist government, and the globalists uh, to allow training of material, trainings, techniques, uh, and operations to have foreign trained Chinese and other former CIS Russian uh, nations as an occupying, occupying United Nations force on American soil in the not too distant future. And that Absolutely. our government's fully aware of this and fully collaborating with it. And that's why, for example, it fits perfectly with the intelligence that you found and was released also by a whistleblower on Alex Jones' show, but you were the original uh, discoverer of this, that the reason why they're buying two billion bullets is not so they can attack Americans, it's to keep them out of the hands of the of the All public. Right. And I, I just talked yesterday to my gun supply company right here, the local uh, supplier called Quantico, and they told me that you can buy certain guns, but the ammo is basically non-existent. Exactly, exactly. And, it, and the ammunition you do find at gun shows is anywhere from 200 to four or 500 percent more than it was just two months ago. Right, and the reason why the government's buying all this is because, <clears throat> and here's my guess, talking to McCanny yesterday, they're planning on crashing the economy, they want to bring out a new economic world order, they want an occupying force on American soil, they want basically to wipe out the middle class and to have them totally dependent on a regional version of the global government, they want to bring out biometric money, which we call the mark of the beast, and Obama is basically the uh, intro man for bringing us into this new world order and abolishing right. the American Republic. That's right, absolutely. Absolutely. That's exactly where this is going. It's going there very fast. I don't want to be yeah. catching any dates to it. but uh, No, I, mean, uh, I, I think in this term of Obama, I would expect to see three things happen. First is they're going to, uh, most likely you'll see a very dramatic move by the um, Republicans and the conservative right to get organized. You're going to see the senators swept aside in the next year and a half that are uh, pro-gun grab in these Democratic states. They're going, to, they're going to lose. But Obama will try to use executive orders and natural disasters as well as false flag events to bring about martial law in the country and nullify the Congress and Senate uh, before Absolutely. the 2014 election. So my guess is the next two years are going to be very unpleasant because within two years Obama will be politically castrate and any moves he make will end up uh, cause precipitating e a, an impeachment or an event that will be unfortunate for Mr. Obama which I don't hope and, and certainly I'm not encouraging it in any way shape or form in fact I think it will be very counterproductive but what I'm concerned about is that 
the globalists are absolutely determined to, to literally nullify the American Constitution, which Obama is working on hard, uh, and they don't want a real natural disaster to preempt their false flag disaster, such as cutting off the power lines, as, as Professor McCanny said an hour or two yesterday. Uh, so we have three solar events likely to happen this year. In the next two years, super high solar max activity is likely. That we are probably looking at the second term of Obama. He will probably sign the peace treaty, ratifying the rebuilding of the Herodian Temple. The uh, Hashemite king of Jordan has called for the peace treaty to partition the state and allow the Jews to start their blood sacrifice. Ninety percent of the Jews in Israel now are supporting the rebuilding of the temple and the starting of the sacrifice on the Temple Mount. Uh, we are very close to the final seven years of, of, uh, of secular history. I understand they've already got the right heifer picked out. And yeah, they genetically them. engineered them up in uh, Switzerland. They have the Kalal, they have the Kohanim, they have everything, including the uh, uh, sea cows and the uh, the curtains of the tabernacle of Moses already. Everything's done. Well, isn't that special? And, and, <laughs> and, the, and the only day that they can do it, by the way, to have the sacrifice started is on the Feast of Tabernacles. We had a little earlier uh, interesting Jewish feast days. It turns out October 8th, 2014, Feast of Tabernacles is a total lunar eclipse. So, really? uh, I'm not showing that's the date, but I'm saying it's going to be ratified. The treaty can be happening anytime. It can happen this year, but the only time that they can actually start the blood sacrifice and start the last seven years is on a Feast of Tabernacles. And that's not my opinion. That's rabbinic law, and it's a thus saith the Lord supernaturally given to me over 25 years ago. So it's all proving correct, and it's all going to roll out here, probably in the second term of Obama. Well, we're in the second term, and uh, I agree with you, Dr. Bill. It's certainly very likely to happen. Yeah, it's extremely likely. There's uh, Right now, we talked about this thing called supernova financial effect, where even the derivatives economy can't squeeze out any more money out of the system, even through artificial blowing up of derivatives. You see the mergers and acquisitions going crazy, like Office Max and Office Depot, um, Emerging, you see all these things happening. You see them suppressing the price of gold at the same time. Nations like China and other nations are buying up gold like crazy. Right. Uh, this is all a manipulation because they're ready to blow out the dollar. According to Max Kaiser, he expects it by April. My guess is sometime between this April and the next year, we're going to have a bank holiday minimum five to six, five days, up to six weeks. Well, that's a good guess as any, and people need to be prepared, and and then they won't need to worry about this, will they? No, if they have their, first off, cash, gold and silver coins, tradable uh, things that can be bartered, food, water, and ammo. They've got themselves their neighbors. The most important thing you do besides prepping yourself is to prep your neighbors. you yeah, got to get in their face. you got to be nice, but you got to get in their face and say, do you have three weeks of water? Do you have food? Please don't come at my doorstep expecting me to save your hide because you think it's a smirky, funny thing to make fun of me while I'm prepping and putting my sweat and my money into this, and you haven't prepped and you're going to show up at my doorstep. That's right. That's right. They also need well, to have have a weapon themselves so they can protect themselves when roving bands of gangs and or people out of control are going to start going crazy. They do. Well, Dr. Bill, I need to get back to a meeting here. Uh, you and Ann and Alex have a great show. Yeah, so what we said it is it kind of makes sense to you too then. It does, absolutely. People need to get moving on it. Yep, this is the year that things are going to start breaking, and I can't put dates, but I can tell you all the signs are there that things are going to happen very soon. Absolutely. I'll be in touch privately. Hey, hey, thanks a lot. And your comments. Right. Oh, well, um, you know, I'm not so much up on the uh, political, but I do think there's uh, that we are going to be hit by some bioweapons this next year. Well, we, well here's the bioweapon uh, update. We have the uh, uh, SARS coronavirus exploding in, in uh, Saudi Arabia. We now have a death in Britain a few days ago. Mm -hmm. We have the H5N1, 70% case fatality rate exploding in Asia, so they're killing millions of chickens in Asia now. We have H7N3 in Mexico, where half a million chickens were killed already, and they're killing more and more literally every day in Mexico because it's a massive plague of avian flu. They're H7N3. If it recombines with some person, a chicken worker, with H3N2V, we're going to have a super plague with a high case fatality rate. rate Back 
And uh, joining us, we have Alexander Bachman. Um, Alexander, you're in Mexico. You saw the H7N3. The price of chickens gone through the ceiling in a number of provinces because of millions of chickens being killed by H3, uh, H7N3, <coughs> which is the avian super flu. We have now the reemergence of a new super clade of H5N1 in Asia, killing millions of chickens there. We have the coronavirus, like the SARS, that caused a major plague about 10 years ago that killed people in Canada and Toronto and Ontario and Ontario, Canada. The, uh, there's already been a death in Britain. We have now, I think, this year, the very high probability of a flu super plague emerging this year. And I see also three different uh, comets that are going to pass into the inner heliosphere of the sun, causing a solar superstorm. Uh, one or more of these could be uh, pointed at or near the Earth. We also have the uh, impending collapse with mergers and acquisitions of, as a, a early sign. We have billionaires leaving the country, and we have intelligence that you've given and John Moore that there have Chinese movements and troop training to actually occupy America with Chinese and former CIS Russian troops on American soil. Uh, we have a communist. Uh, a sympathizer that is also a Muslim who tried to appoint as a CIA director Mr. Uh, Brennan, who actually is probably one of the most evil men that ever drew breath, who happens to be a converted Muslim. And we have Mr. Hagel, appointed uh, as well by Obama, who appears to have signs of early dementia uh, and memory disorder problems, but yet he's a complete apologist for Islam. We have some very serious things in the district of criminals, the worst of which is a lying monster in the White House uh, preparing to pass America on to a global elite. And if people think this is a conspiracy theory, just wait. Just wait until they blow the dollar up. Just wait until they release the super plagues. <coughs> the current H3N2V is a very, very in unusual virus. We have people now, and I'm going to have Dr. Reidenauer back, they got the virus in November and they're still sick in February. And this virus can keep coming back. It goes chronic in a large percentage of cases. It doesn't just pass in 10 days to two weeks. Uh, precisely, so, Dr. Deagle. Uh, hi, Ann. Uh, I, I totally agree. And one of the things that we have to remember about the SARS, uh, this acute respiratory syndrome, that it was placed in China as a bioweapon in uh, 2005. And these are race specific modified bio Race-specific bio bioweapon. Bio Race specific bioweapon, 16 times more likely to kill people of Asian descent than white. And I remember, I mean, the Asian, a, Asians were traveling from, uh, from China, from Hong Kong to Canada, and uh, died in Canada but never infected any Canadians. So, yeah, these are genetically targeted uh, bioweapons. Who knows who else got the SARS and released it in Europe? But it's probably modified. Uh, I, mean, I mean, we don't have the evidence at hand, but, I mean, it just points to the fact that uh, asymmetrical warfare is being used in Third World well, Wars scenarios right now. We, we also need to realize on an asteroid day was my birthday last week. We had this asteroid that went to Shelabinsk, Russia. It turns out that there's really good evidence that it was hit with a space-based weapon because it fractured into lots of big fragments. This didn't just hit the lower atmosphere and blow up into tiny fragments. It appears to be uh, there would be some evidence that it was hit with some kind of space-based weapon, whether it's Russian or American. It was basically going over Chelyabinsk, which is an area of southwestern Russia that's extremely heavy in terms of the uh, nuclear facilities there. It also is a place where the origin of the T-34 tank is basically the they used to call the city where it comes from the you know the tank capital of Russia. So um, it looks very suspicious to me. And this is at the same time America and Russia are at odds over the, the uh, so-called uh, anti-ballistic missile system, which, by the way, the Russian uh, Topol-M rocket can completely evade our current, at least, missile part of our missile system. The Russians, of course, may or may not be aware, but they should be listening to this and listen closely. We have space-based Tesla weapon systems that can vaporize anything the size of a bird, including systems you think can evade us, America has weapon systems that are centuries ahead of Russia, China, or anyone else. And literally, without firing one bullet or one missile, any nation on Earth could be vaporized and cease to exist within minutes 
if we wish to. But they wish to have America invaded. They wish to have the Hezbollah and uh, Zeta cartel bring in uh, rice and other bioweapons. They wish to have American martial law. They wish to have the dollar collapse so they can bring a new financial order, which is going to be the mark of the beast coming from America. And this is not, by the way, just my opinion. People need to realize when I'm saying that the Amer- the bark is going to come from America, this is an absolute. And I want anybody else who thinks otherwise, with 90% of the world currency published in the world is American dollars, which are now in the process of trying to devalue dramatically, this is going to collapse, not just the, Re- the Chinese empire, uh, which has been rapidly expanding by the globalists, but this is going to blow the economies of second world countries and third world countries will starve to death. This is the final eugenics is now in full operational plan uh, B. It's operating right now. There's extremely important information on my website, alexanderbackman.com, that's B-A-C-K-M-A-N-N.com, right now, privy to uh, uh, things going on exactly. I mean, there's an internal coup within the United States. Uh, we say it because uh, I was revealed another code again, Occupy. The word Occupy contains the, the four letters of the word coup. And then I was shown just this morning before the show, CCCP, which is the acronym for the USSR. So. You know, I see uh, this occupation of the United States from within, and it, this is uh, an unprecedented uh, but real event, people. Uh, Obama stands in the White House giving his speeches, and in the background, he has a backdrop of what looks to be a Muslim or Indonesian curtain. All right? just You have to just wake up. All right, and start really understanding how great the situation is. We just issued an alert act out of Act for America uh, Care, the, which is basically the Islamic Relations Council, uh, the Council on uh, American Islamic Relations, which we know is a front for the, the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, just issued a, a document out of Missouri to prosecute anti-Islamic content on the internet. And just quoting quickly, uh, they say in an internal document that we have posted there, thanks to uh, Bridget, Bridget. Uh, for her work, report anti-Islamic and anti-Muslim content on the internet to appropriate authorities to take action to remove and go after those who post it online and re- prosecute and take actions according to the Sharia ruling. This is in the United States right now. Yeah, I know. The, the fact is, what I see coming is they are going to Obama is going to work lockstep with the, with the United Nations, which is pushing for a law to uh, to stifle any content that's anti-Islamic in America. Uh, he wants to quash the alternative radio networks. Our show, which is. Uh, pretty significant in the last eight years of growth is bigger than probably most of the network shows on major television and of course if you look at the lead show Alex Jones he is monster bigger than any show in any network in any radio or television station on the planet in other words people are listening because they want to know what really is going on they know that we are citizen broadcasters they know that we are telling the truth we have people inside the various departments homeland security fbi cdc etc telling us direct information that's the facts and we're feeding it to you and in fact three questions the government asks who does deagle have on the show what questions are they asking and how do the heck do they know it this is the facts that's why we're growing the people want it and obama will never shut this down Welcome back, and um, Alexander, you said something on the break. I want you to repeat it all, because uh, a lot of time people think we're speculating when we say these things. Uh, I expect if you if you want to put, uh, as I say, uh, your Swami hat on, if you just look at all the facts without setting dates or, quote, predicting and nailing down a specific thing, I'd say we're at extreme danger right now. It's like you're going to an area of shoals and rocky uh, outcrops near the shore where the bottom of your boat can be ripped out and you can go to the bottom. We have, this is the year of the comet. We're likely to have solar superstorms. We're seeing the uh, acquisitions and mergers. We're seeing the emergence of three super plagues of flu and coronavirus now, all happening at the same time. We have H3N2V, the most count of replicant genes since 1968, Asian flu. And if we recombine, say, with H7N3, <coughs> we're going to see a Mexico-derived super plague. We have the H5N1 brewing for a number of years now, since the early 90s that will be up to a 70% case fatality rate. We have the coronavirus SARS 
which is a race-specific bioweapon that was specifically released to kill Asians. All of these occurring when there's a currency war, when there's training troops to actually invade and occupy America, and people think we're making this up. They think at the same time our president is trying to disarm the public, and the military and the government, with money they borrow, are sequestering two billion bullets so the public can't buy bullets to protect themselves when social chaos strikes. And if this that's is not bad. if people, yeah, and if people think that we're making this up, yeah. and I tell you, people, they need to they need to stop spitting at the messenger and say, why don't they just check out the secular information that's available? 99% of what we say is just published, published in open journals and news articles by Reuters, etc. Uh, we're not making this up. And then the other information is intelligence information that totally corroborates with it, such as your sources, that says, guess what? This year is going to be absolutely... Don't worry about 2012. 2013 is going to get worse, and God knows 2014 may be worse yet. But we're moving toward a time when they want to bring social chaos and dialectics so they can crash the economy, bring a super plague, and change the financial order of the world, which means we're moving to biometric ghost money that means the mark of the beast is coming. I can't tell you when it'll be here. Same time they want to surround Israel and set up a peace treaty, and they want to partition the state of Israel and give East Jerusalem al-Quds to the Palestinians. This is right out of the Bible. And if people think, well, you're making this up, I said that the reason why they should know that we are like the sons of Issachar, the ancient prophets, as it says, I will pour out my spirit on all of my children, and the uh, old men will uh, dream dreams and the young men will see visions. What they need to understand is this is happening now. This is not like speculation. This is not conspiracy theory. This is reality about to smack them in the face. And if they're not prepared spiritually and physically, they're going to be really distressed by it. Uh, and, you know, people are hiding themselves from, from the fact that their dollar may become valueless. They're hiding themselves from the fact they haven't prepped. They're hiding themselves from the fact they don't have a relationship with God. They're hiding themselves from the fact that our government are malignantly working with globalists to take down America. That is absolutely true. I mean, the threats are real. There are so many threats right now on the open front. Just as a reminder, Obama is getting ready to shut down the southern defenses out of uh, the southern border with Mexico. Mexico right now, the violence is just, again, it's spiraled out of control all of a sudden with our new president. Uh, nothing's being done to curb it, except the citizens are rising with arms and guns. Now they're forming their own uh, uh, guerrilla-style uh, police departments inside the small communities yeah. south of Mexico, and this right. is uh, uh, being spread all over the nation. Now, uh, the cartels saw this as a threat, especially the Zeta cartel, so they, they ordered, uh, let's say, a fatwa of $500,000, because what, now we live in the narco-jihad state, where now the cartels issue a warrant for your head for $500,000 if you are blogging against the Zetas or if you're speaking out against the Zetas. This is happening right now. Just yeah, what, what, what's going to happen? The United States. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen, basically, is eventually the Mexicans, as well as Americans, will rise up and the civilian militia will crush them like a bug. And, uh, and this is also, by the way, the, the people in the Zeta cartels are, have only been able to bring in drugs along with the uh, these other drug dealers uh, because the money is, quote, legally laundered in America that ends up in the pocket of uh, the Pentagon, National Security, the No Such Agency, DARPA, uh, and senators and congressmen's pockets. What's going to happen, though, uh, is now that they are, quote, splitting off from the, quote, New World Order and, these, uh, and they're starting to battle their masters, uh, mm -hmm. they will be squashed like a bug. And what I see happening is America wants the release of Ray Ryson. They want civil destruction of America. That's why Obama is shutting down the Southern Air Defense Command, which means they're not going to be able to see drones or other uh, things coming in from the Southern airspace from Mexico or Guatemala or Venezuela. They're doing this on purpose, aren't they? Again, we see Al-Qaeda getting stronger and bolder. Now we see them uh, going into Damascus. Uh, uh, we're seeing that uh, Assad just removed all his troops from the border on the Golan uh, with Israel. Al-Qaeda's in control of the border right now between the, the high and, and, well, and speculate Israel well, right now. Well, why, and speculate, why would they do that? I have my ideas, but you tell me what yours are, uh, Alexander. Well, I think uh, Basar is, is trying to uh, gain a stronghold against in the capital because they, they, they bombed almost his palace uh, just yesterday and less than 24 hours ago. So I see that he removed his troops in order for Israel to start uh, attacking 
freely these uh, these forces that are on the border. But these forces, Al Qaeda aligned forces, we know they're CIA sponsored forces. So the CIA now we understand has a head uh, that is Muslim. So now we start understanding the bigger picture. Yeah, right? but, but listen, let me just tell you, the smartest people on earth are not Japanese or Chinese. They're Jews. Okay? Some of them are very evil Jews. They're half Sabbatean, but they're still the smartest people on earth. And well, they're fully aware of Jewish, how much right? double dealing they've been from the American president and the American government, especially in this administration. The Israelis are not restrained from crushing Muslim nations. And I have this as a fact. This is not a speculation. I remember back in July 10th, 1994, at a media center two miles underground in Falcon, Colorado, Shriver Air Force Base, they showed me a 45-minute presentation of the nations that would have nuclear weapons by 20, 2005. And the fact is, Saudi Arabia has nuclear weapons, Syria has nuclear weapons, Iran has nuclear weapons from North Korea, Pakistan has nuclear weapons, and all these nations are ready to start a nuclear, chemical, and biological scale war. In the area where most of the oil in the world that currently is distributed comes out of. The easy oil, we call it, not the hard oil, the light crude, the light, you know, the sweet, sweet crude that you literally can scoop up in Saudi Arabia off the ground. What's going to happen is, if a regional war starts there, we're going to go into full blue code cardiac arrest for the world economy. Well, I, uh, I highly recommend the interview I, did, I had with Reza Khalili uh, out of WorldNet Daily uh, at TimeToBetray.com. It's on my website. People listen tell, to tell, that. What, 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 tell us about Reza Khalili. What, 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 what's his background and what did you find, uh, Alexander? Well, he's, he's desperate, and right now he's uh, urging the West to un really take action into freeing the, the people of Iran, uh, getting that regime, that the f fanatical regime out of there. Reza Khalili basically wrote a book uh, called A Time to Betray, and uh, this book it became a bestseller. I read the book, and it changed my life because it, it, it brings an understanding to the Iran situation from a person that was embedded inside the Iranian uh, Republican Guards. And, well, here, here's, what, here's what I would say is the most likely single event to happen. The real war is between Saudi Arabia and Iran, and, and they're attacking the proxy state of Syria. Saudi yeah, the Arabia US is now a proxy state of Saudi Arabia. Right, they're proxy states of Saudi. What Saudi Arabia is doing is that for the last five years been in a war that they're losing, uh, and they know that most of the oil now has reserves and now moved to northern Iraq to the area of Kurdistan. What Saudi Arabia has now is they've had nuclear weapons for years, they had missiles from Saudi from China. The problem is now Iran has nuclear weapons, and they've had it for five years. Okay, but not only Korea. nuclear weapons, they have microbial warheads, bioweapon warheads. Right, and by the way, these microbial warheads. base just discovered just a couple of days ago. These microbial weapons, by the way, are the Russian biopreparate weapons developed over 70 years of research with trillions of dollars of research money and slave labor in a facility of a quarter million scientists and technicians north of Moscow, 240 kilometers, over 70 years. And at the end of Glasnost and Perestroika, all, not some, all of these weapons went to Iran and Syria. All. So, if they start something, it's going to be unbelievable. People better be right with God because things could happen this year. I'm going to get tempted into... Back to the Nutra Medical Report. One of the things that you highlighted, uh, Alexander, is that there's continued troop movements in Mexico. There's training of Mexican, American, uh, sorry, of Chinese troops and former CIS nations for over 25 years to attack and invade America. Uh, there's allowed cyber attacks on American soil, which, by the way, can shut down the power grid or attack various things and cause station blackouts, nuclear reactors. All of this, by the way, is happening by permission because DARPA and the no such agency or NSA are in total control of the power grid and these things. And if they allow it to happen, it's because they want to bait the Chinese because the problem with the nation of China and their communist leaders, and this is not all the people, is they have a problem with a racial superiority complex. Uh, and there's a small clique in Russia that have the same problem. And uh, most normal Russians are, have enough sense they have no intentions of taking on America. Uh, they're being baited, basically, into either a cyber attack or an invasion. Because when they do, the plan of the globalists is to have America be the 
we want to call it Thor's hammer to crush most of the nations of the earth to try to attack it. The same way as Israel has been armed to the teeth and most of the Islamic nations in the world would be turned to dust in a matter of minutes if they attack Israel. Israel has access to the back door of what's called uh, the uh, cyberspace, if you want to call it superspace, cloud, DARPA, and all the security agencies in America are run and controlled by Israel. So the fact is, there's no such thing as Iran making a kind of sneak attack or China or anybody else. Even the um, the phone system in China is completely controlled by DARPA and by the NSA. Did you know that? The entire oh, phone system, absolutely. the entire communication system. So the Chinese basically are, are, are giddy over how rich they've gotten over 25 years because the globalists put them in that position. And they're yanking their chain with a few of these crazy Chinese generals thinking they have this giant army. And in fact, they're actually pulling the tail of the dragon. That's America because the name America is not from Americo Vespasi. The Portuguese map maker, it's the ancient name of America by the native peoples from the Aztecs, etc., means the land of the dragon. America has weapons that are centuries ahead of any other nation, and so is Israel. And any nation coming against them will be vaporized into non-existence before they can even get their second breath or heartbeat. And they should understand that. The problem is they want dead Americans. They want an invasion. They want martial law because in the clenched fist of America will crush these nations like a bug. And they want to do that because their new world order is to have America be the enforcer, to have American public completely enslaved. They want to have not just 30,000, maybe 100, maybe 200,000 drones within five years on American soil. And they, by the way, within 10 years, won't even need police. They'll have cyberspace, war, warriors, drones, uh, everything from, do you know they can listen to you with the uh, with the smart meter system, listening to your, with your washer, your dryer, your appliances, you know, in the Zigbee network, which is at the same frequency of water, that they can actually, your appliances are listening and watching you. Do you know that's part of the whole uh, system? This is craziness, but the matrix is real. This is not made up, and it's not my conspiracy theory. I took care of employees at the Virtual World Project. That's when I say smart meter isn't just a poison with electromagnetic waves and, and, and frequency-dependent um, scalar waves from what's called these, uh, these type of smart meter uh, systems and scalar, or scalar waves. No, it is they actually a... This, uh, it, it, <clears throat> yeah, they want to create a, this a, smart dust. And uh, lay it all over the grid, and uh, well, that's, that's one of the everything that's, we do. Those are those smart dots are basically microprocessors, but the major system is it was called smart grid, and uh, that's why they're so determined to shove down our throat the smart meter, which I'm filing a federal lawsuit because there's no federal law that allows them to do this. I'll be filing the first federal lawsuit in any nation on earth against any federal government, the first one. And in fact, I talked to uh, the uh, to people in Sweden and Ireland, and they want to use my lawsuit as a template for theirs. Because if it doesn't get chucked out, we're going to have Jonathan E. Moore's group out of Phoenix pick it up and make a federal class action out of it. And I'm not sharing any information on that until the suit's actually forward, because they don't want to chucked out. And uh, what people have to understand is, when I make a statement on something, it's not open for their damned opinion. It's not open for them to attack it. They just have to accept it, research it, and if they don't want to believe it, just wait until the destruction comes, because it's going to happen. They're moving step by step. They're behind schedule, behind schedule, but under Obama, they plan on closing the door on America. The second term is going to be a term out of hell with this monster in the White House. Yeah, the situation is great, and the the technological uh, advancements that are coming out, you know, portable biometrics, now they can scan your DNA at a distance. They don't even need a DNA uh, sample of your blood or your hair. Now they can scan it at a distance, the frequency your DNA emanates or resonates. It's all about frequencies. You know, they can manipulate you at a distance. They can go into your head from a remote location and put ideas in your head that are not even yours. They, they've been testing it, you know beta testing it in Florida with these plasma TVs forcing kids to commit suicide because they hear little voices in their cells. So yeah. we know that they're doing it. Yeah, now, um, uh, and when you see the uh, space weather this year and you see all these events happening, what do you see happening in terms of space weather, um, the economics? For example, our, our food supply capacity is dropping dramatically in America. We see all the evidence with the extreme weather that around the world crops are going to fail everywhere. Uh, we have the release of super plagues that are now 
ready to, to make the leap to humans in Asia, in Mexico, and now in Saudi Arabia and the Middle East with the coronavirus virus. What do you think is going to happen next? Well, we know that on the uh, 10th of March, and in fact, they can already see the comet pan stars in uh, the southern hemisphere. And if you go up to spaceweather.com, they have a picture of it along with the uh, green comet lemon um, that's uh, 2012 F6, which will be available for viewing in the northern hemisphere in early April. So <clears throat> we know that we're, this is going to be a very active um, year for our solar system. We have three comets coming in, and uh, uh, we're going to be able to see them and track them. Now, the PanStars one has never been to the inner solar system before. It's coming out of the Oort cloud. And uh, so we don't know exactly what it's going to do because it's going to pass inside of the orbit of Mercury. And Mercury is the yeah. closest planet to the sun. And by the way, that means that something perturbed it in the Oort cloud to move it in, which means almost certainly something like a red or brown dwarf star pushed it in from the Oort cloud to go into the inner solar system. Well, it's very unusual to have one of these, and, and in fact, it was discovered by an amateur in 2011. Right. Well, no, I'm sorry, that one was discovered by uh, one of our satellites. Um, it was the lemon, Comet Lemon that's coming in in April. It was discovered by a... Um, by a amateur, uh, yeah. uh, it, No, it was uh, discovered by, a, by the Mount Lemon Survey in Arizona. Ah, it's okay. ice on that's coming in at the end of November, and that's going to put on a an unforgettable display because it it's passing so close to the sun, it's it's passing seven hundred and forty five thousand miles from the surface of the sun. It's passing through the corona, and is yeah. is what they well, say. Now, where, where, where it's going to pass, if it passes near sunspot activity areas, and it's aimed or directionally pointing toward Earth when that happens, there's going to be like a giant spark gap. If you run across the carpet and put your finger on a doorknob, that spark gap will be a giant plasma stream coming off the sun with an equivalent of trillions of hydrogen bombs exploding with a plasma of quadrillions of tons of plasma heading toward the Earth at speeds approaching a quarter million miles an hour. That's what's going to happen. And if it's aimed even in, in, in the quadrant of near Earth, it'll perturb the magnetosphere, cause a rent in the magnetosphere, allowing cosmic background radiation and gamma rays, uh, and uh, literally could be an extinction-level event. And the globalists are panicking over this because they know this is a possibility. Well, I think that's why we're seeing so much um, news about... Um about uh, solar flares on the on the mainline news, like on NBC nightly. News. Even when there's no uh, valid uh, reason. For example, you mentioned when we talked yesterday that they're talking about solar flares, solar flares when it's like a solar activity is like down to nothing. It's like right now there's no danger, uh, but they're right. talking about it a lot because inside Tier One Science, as I talked yesterday with Professor McCanny, they're fully aware that this is the year of the comet, and the comets are going to change everything. Well, there could be a kill shot to the Earth, yes. Yeah, kill shot is coming. I can't tell you when, but I can tell you that it's extreme danger this year. It's like going out to the shooting range. We're at the wrong end of the range, and people decide to start shooting their 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 uh, uh, high-caliber weapons off. Yeah. You're at the wrong end of the range. And this one that's coming in at the end of November is also the one that comes around every uh, 11,000 years. Yes, which fits in with the uh, the cataclysmic uh, extinction level events that uh, fit with that timing as well. So, uh, Very interesting indeed. Unfortunately, hopefully, it won't get too interesting. Amazing program today. Back again Monday with uh, Michael Connolly and Daniel Weber. You don't want to miss it.